Okay, it's time to undo all the glue ups. Magic that is glue, look at that. Okay, so that's my strengthener. Excellent. Sorted those out. There we are. A neck and fretboard ready for shaping. It's really lightweight, really lightweight. Okay. Just clear up this and get on. The other thing in the pile of glue ups was this bridge, which seems to be okay. I ran some super glue uh, on the edges there, if you remember. Uh, I've also shaped that. So now that fits into there nicely. So the idea is that this metal plate will fit onto the guitar body. I need to screw that down. And then this will slide onto it. And I'm hoping that the pressure of the strings will keep it in place. Now if, if they don't, what I can do is just put a small screw in probably the middle there just to, to go through and just to grip onto the, the metal. I also um, rounded some nuts yesterday and I want to sink those into these holes like that so that uh, there is a sort of a metal thread. So I'm going to do it on the top. Um, I thought about doing it on the bottom, but I think I need to do it on the top. Uh, so I need to find a, a drill bit that will allow me just to do that. And uh, also need to work out how to fit the piezo pickup underneath that. So uh, quite a bit to do. Let's get started. I'm going to mount the piezo pickup this way round because I want uh, all the electronics to be down here and uh, it'll be a lot easier. I'm actually going to try and create a little tray that slides in and out so that the jack socket plate actually is connected to the, the tray with the amplifier on so the whole lot just slides in and out of the edge there. That's the idea. Anyway, um, first of all let's see if we can fit this thing. So I've marked the center of this pickup and now I just need to uh, put a mark where the hole needs to be. And that's where it's going to go through to. Actually, while I'm here, I'll also mark the end so I know where the channel has got to go to. Okay, I'm doing it at an angle, to hopefully to, to follow the uh, direction of the strings. That's the idea. Although now I'm doubting myself a little bit here because that's got to be mounted square. So I think what I need to do is just mark the top and the bottom of that. Yeah, I think actually I'm going to have to change my mind on this. I'm going to have to mount, I'm going to have to mount that underneath that first mark there. Okay, let's get a square. Let's take, I'm going to take the middle point of this bridge position. Let's draw a line there. It's a very faint line, very faint. Uh, and take that line down here. Okay, so I'll run the piezo pick up underneath that line there then. That means that hole has to be there and the end needs to be there. So I'm going to mark that up so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, Let's get the hole drilled. Okay. Now I need to mark out a channel. I 
think that's going to be okay. That looks pretty good. This will need to be fitted next to that. Put that on the edge there. Okay, so I'm going to do a, a hole there and a hole there. Okay, it's important that they sit right underneath the top. I'm thinking I might have to sink this in a little bit deeper. Uh, we'll see in a minute. Okay, so I reckon that's about it. So there's a hole there, a hole there. I want to put the Piazzo pick up under pressure. Okay. Oh, now then. <laughs> Moment of truth. Will this slide onto there? And if it does, can I get it off? Right, I'm not going to jam it on. Slide it that way. There we go. Look at that. Oh, yes. And I think, I think that is going to do the job. And I've got some movement then. I can go forward and back. And it's quite tight. So once the strings are on there, that's not going to move. Whew. Excellent. Okay, so now I need to tackle the, the nuts in there. Before I do anything, I'm going to try a test hole. Now I've measured the, the nuts and they're 6.7 mil in diameter. And um, all I've got is a, either a 6.5 or a 7 mil drill bit. So what I'm going to go do is do a 7 mil drill hole here and test it. And I'm also seeing if I can just stop the depth at the right point. Here we go. That's it see what we've got that's going to be interesting that tears up the wood a bit it may be that I've got to sand a bit off the top anyway so okay well that seems to have worked I could probably go a little bit deeper um, just need, need to clean out the hole a bit at the bottom there but that seats in there nicely and by the time I've got some epoxy in there really to hold it to uh, nice and tight I think that's going to be uh, just the job apologize I just keep managing to get my hand in the way of the camera all the time anyway I've, I've drilled the hole I had to go a little bit deeper uh, but I think this is okay that pushes in there nicely and as I say by the time I've got some uh, epoxy in there I think that's going to be fine. Now the other thing I need to do is to chamfer this edge down and I think I'll probably chamfer both edges and that's because we're going to have the um, strings coming from this hinge uh, which is obviously lower than the, the bridge and I have a feeling certainly there they may catch so I think what I'm going to do I'm just going to chamfer both sides down just to just to curve it a little bit give it some shape before I run to the uh, belt sander I think I'm going to try and do this by hand with some I think this is 60 grit and I've got 120 and 240 um, yeah if that it's going to take ages, I might do it on the belt sander. I'm going to glue the nuts in with some of this uh, slow drying um, epoxy. 
um, I quite like this because it, it does take a long while to dry and uh, it means that you've got plenty of time to adjust things and there's one thing you have to have when you're building guitars and that's patience and my wife will laugh at that <laughs> probably not a good idea to do it on the body okay so I'm going to use a cocktail stick just to spread a little bit round on the inside of the hole trying to not get too much on the top just going to make sure they're all seated flat Now, I want to move on to the uh, fretboard. What I'm going to do is radius it first and sand it down, obviously, because I need to uh, get some of the marks off here. But my worry with this is that the wood is quite soft. So what I think I'm going to do is once I've radiused it, I'm going to coat some of the epoxy two-part gloss that I've got on top of it and uh, leave it to harden just to see if that will make the wood a little bit harder. I'm just concerned about fitting the frets really. Anyway, let's get over to the sanding station. Of course, you know, when I say sanding station, I mean this uh, old box with uh, OSB and holes in it on the top. Anyway, uh, sounds posh, doesn't it? Sanding station. Here we go. Right, line this one up. Got my uh, radiusing block that I, I, I made uh, a while ago. Um, please check out my uh, how to make jigs video for how to make one of these. Very simple. Anyway, so this is a 16 inch radius. I'm not going to go any narrower than that. And um, well, just a question of going back and forth with that. Now, I don't know if you can see this, but what was amazing um, while I was sanding that was how this grain started to appear. And this, you know, it, this really gives the impression of sort of wind blowing and blowing these leaves along this fretboard. And uh, oh, man, it's, that's actually amazing. I'm really, really pleased with the way that that's looking. So I'm going to go and have a cup of tea now. And after that, I'm going to mix up some epoxy and uh, coat this neck, this fretboard. I mixed up some of this two-part um, extra tough pro lacquer. Well, it's an epoxy-based lacquer. Just put it on the floor. Um, and what I'm just going to do is paint it on with this soft brush over this fretboard. It's just see. And uh, the first thing I've noticed is the brush has obviously been used for something else, and I've got a mark in it. So get yourself another brush, then. I'm going to sand this down once it dries. I'm just hoping that it gives a bit of rigidity to the uh, the top of this fretboard. That's the idea. Let that dry and then I'll give it another coat. I think this will uh, stay okay for a couple of hours, this um, lacquer. Now then, what's next? Uh, the body strengthener. Here we go. Okay. So, this is going to fit inside the body and give strength to the neck joint, the bridge and where the strap is connected. Now um, it's a bit, a bit heavy at the moment so I need to take some material off this. It's also a bit too deep as well 
and I've uh, been thinking about this and, and I was going to just take the tops off these but in actual fact what I think I'm going to do is take a slice off the back uh, and that'll take some of the weight out of this and I'm also going to then shape this part of it sort of as a rounded shape because that will appear through the uh, sound hole and I want it to look reasonable. I may also do some shaping here as well. So I need to get the bandsaw set up. Now the height of the sides of the body is uh, about 44 mil and I'm going to take this down to 45 mil so then I've got some uh, mil just to play with. Might have to take some off the sides anyway so I don't want to take too much off. Okay, we've got a bit of a problem to deal with. Let me demonstrate. That base is not flat. That is pretty flat. Okay, need to do some more planing on this. I thought I could use my adjustable clamping jig to hold the body flat while I was. Uh, planing it but um, unfortunately when I designed this I didn't account for uh, acoustic size guitars I think I've covered all the electric sizes but this is just a little bit too big but I'm just looking at it now and I think that uh, I think I can modify this to make it fit so I'm just going to do that Come on, may just do it. Got a bit more flexibility here. Pull that out even further. Nearly there. Nearly there. There. Wow, look at that. Just made it. The, uh, the back of the body nice and flat now so uh, that's all done so the next thing to do is to fit this strengthener now so this is this is looking at the back of the guitar so now basically that will just slot into there and if I line that up on the center line there that will slot there so what I need to do is need to chop out a bit from each of these pieces I can run a line down from the end there hopefully it's easier said than done but that's that, that's probably do that with my fingers better okay right now then so I need to chop a piece out but not going right the way through to the edge there so I think that's going to be a bit of work with chisels I think.
okay. So now the three parts should all come together. That's reasonably good. So what I can see from this is that this side is slightly higher. I need to take a little bit off the top of that. Well, actually, in actual fact, I think it's just bowed a bit. So hopefully when I glue it down, it should, should pull back. I'm just a bit worried that some of them might split there. Maybe that the bench isn't quite flat. Yeah, I think I think I'm going to take a little piece piece off the underside, the underside of that, just just about there. Apart from the fact I've lost a piece of the corner there, I think that's looking okay. I'm going to have to fill that in afterwards. But um, otherwise, it's looking reasonable. had a, another mammoth sanding session um, but I think I'm ready to start gluing this all together now what I need to do is get myself a center line on this so uh, let's get the template back on Okay, so there's my centre line. Now then, just check that I've got the centre line marked on there, which I have. And on the end there, I can just carry that through actually. Okay, so centre line there, my centre line there, which I'm going to have to. Oh. Now, this is where. It helps to put the centre line on the underside as well. So let's do that. There we go. It's just there. Okay, look. So that will go in about there. <laughs> I need to carry it through on the edge here as well. So I'll get it round the right way and then it'll help. Right, so that goes to the centre line there, and that's centre line there. Just thinking about how to glue this up, I think what I might do, I'm going to talk myself out of it in a minute, was to glue up the middle first, the strengthening beam first, but actually the whole lot has to sit together, and if I don't get it right, I, going to be in trouble so I'm tempted to think that I'll try a, a, a major glue up if I can. Now as I head round at the front there I've just had a got another problem here in that I need to shave some off there just a little bit not much so that it joins up exactly so that's what I'm going to have to do now. This is going to be a complicated glue up and I've been trying to decide how best to do it and I've come to the conclusion that the best thing to do is to first glue down this middle section. So I've positioned this, well it's right on the centre line at both ends and it's, it's about in the right position. I've got leeway to shape the uh, body um, once it's glued in, 
so I've just put a mark there now where where it is I've actually put two marks because the first one was in the wrong place Wow, well this is a bit of a mammoth glue up, uh, so I'm going to set this to one side and uh, see what happens. Um, I've got quite a bit done today, perhaps not everything I thought I was going to do, but uh, a fair old bit. So I think I'm going to call it a day for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget this is part of the use what you've got challenge and there are a load of other builders doing the same sort of thing as I am and uh, the links to their channels are below so please go along and have a look at them it's it's all great fun uh, now just a bit of a teaser I found this little piece of aluminium and uh, which I ran through the bandsaw and it's put some lovely facets in it and um, it's from an old uh, plate that was behind an alga cooker that we had in the property when we moved in I say an alga it was an SE it was one of those sort of uh, solid fuel cookers anyway um, I think I can use this on this guitar but uh, keep watching and uh, we'll see if I can manage to fit it in anyway thank you once again I'll see you soon take care